This is just a strange question. I don't know that I've seen anything worded exactly like this on the current old SAT, but uh, this, the concepts are there, so it's not really new in terms of like topics. It's just worded in a strange way. Um, if you have trouble with the algebra here, it, it's pretty easy to just kind of follow the instruction. For each increase in x by 1, the value decreases by 80%. So okay, take your 86, and when we go from f of 0 to f of 1, right, because we need to get to f of 2, we're going to decrease by 80%. So you can multiply it, hopefully you know this, by 20. So 86 times 0.2 is 17.2. So that's to get from 0 to 1. Now we need to get from 1 to 2, so we got to do it again. Now it's 17.2 times 0.2, and that is 3.44, which is the answer. Um, I'm going to show you the algebra way because I think it's really helpful. Uh, for the old SAT, I made up a formula called the open formula to help us deal with percentages and exponentials. And a percentage is something we do once, but this is an exponential because we have to take the percentage multiple times. But all of these um, you know, letters stand for the stuff we're given. So O stands for the original, P stands for the percentage, and N stands for the new value. And we have an exponential, the equation is going to look slightly different. So the new value is kind of like the F, right? So that's kind of what we're looking for. So that's kind of my mystery. The O is 86, right? The value we start with is always the zero value, so that's the 86. And they do say it's a decrease, so it's going to be 1 minus, and then 80%, we write that as a decimal, so that's 0.8. And then T is the number of times we do it. So that's going from 0 to 2, so that's kind of like my X. And so now we have an equation. We can simplify it if we want. There's that 0.2 we saw before. And then we can square it. 0.2 squared is 0.04 times 86 is, no surprise, 3.44. So I don't know. I like the formula here. I think it's, it's definitely a useful formula in lots of situations. So it's good to memorize and to be comfortable with. Um, and most of the time when we use it, we're going to have like some sort of story. This is just like a pure algebra way of doing it. It's very unusual, but um, we'll see. We'll see what the new SAT does. They might not ask a lot of stories about exponentials anymore. I don't know.